Good morning. We're going tow trucking and we're back in the wheel lift tow truck as you can see. Now we're running over to one of the local dealerships. We're going to grab a Toyota Tacoma and take it back over to Elite Fleet Automotive so they can fix whatever's wrong with it. So let's get going. And we're here already because it was only about a mile away. So that should be our Tacoma right there that we're going to grab. Let's get backed up to it and get it. Five minutes and 45 seconds loaded up ready to go no keys locked up didn't have to get into it for anything so faster than the rollback well I'm faster with this setup than I am with a rollback and a wheel lift truck is much better for this type of job because this dealership doesn't open till 10 it's about 8 o'clock in the morning but the shop doesn't need the keys for what they need to do to this truck and they have a spot open for it so I can come grab it easy as can be wheel lift and dollies get it out of here get it to the shop they can deal with getting the keys for it later once these people open and uh, everybody happy okay now I know a bunch of people are gonna say I don't have to dolly it it's in two-wheel drive the front end will just roll and whatever and yes it will but my policy is no drive wheels roll on the ground unless they have manual hubs that I can unlock. And that is because I don't know the condition of the vehicle. I don't know if there's fluid in the front dip. I don't know what kind of shape the transfer case is in. And in a case like this where I don't have the keys to open it up and verify that it's in two wheel drive or that the steering wheel is locked or anything like that, why not just dolly it? And yes, I could unlock it and get into it, but I can dolly it just as quick. So why not do that? All right, let's get it back into its parking space here and then we'll unload it. All right, that'll work. Okay, that was four minutes ish from ow just get hit in the head with the door four minutes from fully ready to go down the road to fully put away unhooked and done faster than the rollback again oh. pay me before i come start jacking all your crap <laughs> okay that one is done dropped off and paid so can't beat that um turns out the door was unlocked chris just walked right up and opened it i didn't even check it because one of the bonuses about this style truck and thing i really like is when you're towing with this truck you don't ever actually have to get into the customer's car i can tow anything out there pretty much and never actually have to open the door and i do really like that but anyway since we were talking about the rollback and a few guys got mad at me for saying i was going to turn down all the side of the highway calls and not doing it and i was saying I shouldn't be in the towing business if I'm not going to do that stuff and whatever else you said. Um, yes, I technically am a tow company, but I never said I was a very good one. Um, I don't do 90% of what tow companies do. I don't do 
roadside assistance, I don't do motor clubs, I don't do accident calls, I don't do impounds, I don't do police rotations, I don't do any of that type of stuff that is the bulk of most towing companies work. I have a very small niche market that works well for me and I like to stay in that little niche market and that is the off-road towing, the off-road recovery and then a few dedicated customers like this shop that I actually do normal towing type stuff for. Aside from that, the like bulk towing work, I don't do it and I don't want to. That's not the market I want. Uh, when I get tow calls from people, nine times out of ten, I refer them to the other tow companies because that's what they do. I don't want to do that type of stuff. So I refer it to the other companies in the area that are the best fit for the type of call or where the call is. And in return, when they get the more specialty or the off-road or stuff, long distance, stuff like that, they refer that back to me. So. Yeah, I'm not your average tow company and I don't want to be. I have my little niche market that works well for me and allows me to work with other towing companies instead of competing with them and that's better for everybody. So I will stick with my little thing in this truck and my Jeep and what I do off to the side here and let the tow companies do the actual towing work. But anyway, uh, that's it for this one. I just thought I'd throw that there at the end. Uh, and uh, I'm going to head off to the next job and we will see you guys next time.